I got a report here, and it says Disney will overtake Netflix as the streaming leader by 2024. Okay, Ampere Analytics put that out. I don't know them, but that is the source of this uh, this particular forecast. Netflix co-founder and former CEO Mark Randolph joins us now. You agree with that? In three years, Disney overtakes Netflix. What do you think? Well, Stuart, uh, first of all. Who knows? But I got to say, I'm really impressed with what Disney has done so far. I mean, what are they, 16 months in and they've just exceeded 100 million subscribers. It's extremely impressive. And even more impressive is the velocity. You know, at their investor day, which was not too long ago, uh, they had 86 million. So 14 million subscribers. It took Netflix 10 years to get their first 14 million subscribers. And Disney has done it in just over two months. But, you know, the thing that I'm really so, impressed okay. with, and I think that, yeah, Go ahead. Hit me, Stuart. Well, I, 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 no, no. I, I just I want to know if Netflix has this number of subscribers and Disney Plus has this number, what's the difference between the two? Well, the, the one big difference, of course, is that approximately a third of Disney's subscribers are in a single country. It's the hot star in India. And even if you look out at where the forecast goes three years from now, you will probably show that uh, Disney is going to be larger than Netflix in one country, India. But Netflix will still be larger than India in another 195 countries. So this is not quite the way it sounds in the, uh, in the report. And of course, fundamentally, the most important thing that Disney has to do is demonstrate that they can make money from their subscribers. You know, as we've mentioned before, they're right now about a $4 average revenue per user, and Netflix is just about $10. It'll take a while for them to bring those numbers up. But, you know, really, okay. sincerely, it is not Netflix that necessarily should be scared by Disney's prominence. Um, it's all of the other streaming companies. I mean, they're at, right now, with Paramount Plus coming in a few weeks ago, now every single major media company is in a streaming business. And right now, we're all sampling. But I promise you, there is going to be a musical chairs moment. And there is not going to be chairs for everybody. And I think what consumers are going to yeah. do is have their Marie Kondo moment where they really ask themselves, is this service bringing me joy? And if it's not, they're going to dump it. And I certainly think that yeah. Amazon, pardon me, that Netflix and Disney are both going to be left standing. Um, and I wonder who else will be joining them. That's a fascinating question. Mark Randolph, thanks for joining us. We appreciate your expertise in this.